Stranger, someone who would hurt him. Well, you can't blame him for not knowing you, Ava. I'm not the stranger. She is. How could he even call her mommy? Call me. What's going on? Oh, who scared me? Who scared you? The lady who found my truck. What lady? She looks like a penguin. You know the people at Thanksgiving? Um, she means pilgrim. Well, what did she say? <laughs> what did she say to you? She knew my name. but I'm not that stupid. Come on, I know you're in there. All right, all right, I'm going to go to the police Mommy, and I'm going to get some... Mommy, the memory's gone. Oh, don't honey. Don't be scared. No, don't, no, 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 don't be scared. The... Mommy made the bad lady go away, okay? Don't be scared. My children, my baby. I wouldn't know it by looking at them now, would you, Eva? I would not let anybody hurt my little angel. Do you know... That I love you more than I love my own life. I love you more than I love the stars in the heaven. In fact, I love you more than all the chocolates in all the world. That much? I so lucky to have a mommy. No, here. no, I'm lucky. You guys are the best, but you have to remember not to go anywhere that mommy can't see you, okay? I promise. Me too. Oh, I love you. 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 You're not their mother. I am. Just calm down. I won't let her have them. I won't. As soon as possible. Now, the children are, are just starting to cope. Learning to live without you. Now, they, if they know that you've been alive all this time, they'll think you deserted them. I never deserted them. I never did that. Oh, I know you didn't. But they're children. They don't understand what happened. You don't even understand what happened, Reva. No, but I... I know I'm right. No, they will never forgive you. They're happy now. Now, if you really love them, you will let them be. I never meant to leave them. You want the best for your children, don't you? Of course I do. Then it's crystal clear what you have to do. Make sure that Abigail is all right at Cedars and everything is taken care of there. And then we will put Springfield behind us forever. If you don't want to go to Europe, we'll go anywhere. Now, it's going to be very hard at first. But in time, you will know that you did the right thing for your children. They will grow up knowing that they were loved. Isn't that what every good mother wants for her children?
bonnet, no granny dress. Could be the little girl can't hear. Only one way to find out. Forget Mara and Shane? Leave Abigail and Charlotte here to fend for themselves? No. Well, the blooms will be fine, and so will the children. I didn't come all this way to turn tail and run. I came back here to claim my children. Mara and Shane need their real mother. And I need them. What about Josh? What about him? He's Shane and Mara's father. The children in your life, so will he be. You know, it won't be the first time that a woman has used her children to get back at her ex-husband. That's ridiculous. No, really? Oh, really? Well, you claim that he is the, the love of your life. Now, it must hurt your ego a little bit to see him with another gorgeous woman. You don't know what you're woman. talking oh, about. I, I think I do. Because Reba Shane always loved a challenge. And I think winning back Josh and the children would be your ultimate victory. Well, get this through your head. The only reason I came back here was to see my children, to talk to them, to tell them that I never deserted them, that it wasn't my fault that I left, to make sure that I can make up for all the time I didn't have with them, to tell them that I will never leave them again, not now, not ever. Idiot, idiot, come. Everyone to just forget the past five years. I mean, you can't make them do that just because you want them to. Hello. Is Alan Spaulding there, please? Alan Spaulding here. Uh, Alan, this is Lillian Raines. Charlotte Bloom asked me to call you. Is uh, something wrong, Lillian? Oh, yes, we have a problem at the hospital. She'd like you to find someone named uh, Rebecca. Well, she's not here right now. What, what is it, Alan? Uh, what's, what's the problem, Lillian? I think you'd better come down to the hospital. Uh, Abigail Bloom is missing from the hospital room. Missing? What are you talking about? It's about Abigail. I'll, I'll handle this. No, you've handled enough. Charlotte. Oh, Mr. Spaulding. I do not know what to do. Don't worry about a thing. I brought Rebecca with me. Rebecca. Is there any word? Oh, Abigail is missing. Oh, Charlotte, it's going to be okay. We'll find her. She was asleep. I only left her alone for a few minutes. It's not your fault. Rebecca, it has been a very long time that she's been missing. If it's anyone's fault, Charlotte, it's mine. I never should have left Ab Abigail in the first place.
I've seen you before, haven't I? Your name is Abigail, isn't it? Abigail, it's okay. I'm Dr. Bauer. Everything's gonna be fine. Um, well, I, I'm sure there's people worried sick wondering where you are. missing? Did they find her yet? This has been Guiding Light. Jewelry by Robert Rose. Someday, Sidney Sheldon's international bestseller comes to life. Brooke Shields, Vanessa Williams, and Gail O'Grady star in Nothing Lasts Forever. Sunday on CBS.